We are playing matchmaker right now here. A little segment we're going to call True Romance, the nod to the Tony Scott movie, Christian Slater, back in the day. Eric Carlson, he's going to be on the move. It feels like, although Elliot Friedman told us earlier, it's not 100%, but Carlson's had a great year so far, the San Jose Sharks Doobie. You are playing matchmaker. Where do you want to see Eric Carlson end up? Uh, I like Ottawa. I mean, I feel I feel wrong now that Elliot told me that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm sticking with Ottawa. I think, uh, you know, obviously with his with his past there, I believe his wife's from there. Yes. I think she's got family there. I think he I think he still goes back there in the he summers does. as well. So obviously that's a place that I'm sure he would be happy to go. Um, you know, they've got like Elliot mentioned contract wise. I mean, this is going to be a difficult trade to make regardless. Mm -hmm. But if we're not talking about that stuff, I think that the way he's playing give that team a little boost veteran guy you know he's a good guy to have around and uh, I think it'd be fun to see him back in Ottawa yeah they, they got some young guys though that I think they want to give uh, uh, the number one too they got Sanderson there they got Shabbat there they want to give those big time minutes so I'm not sure it's the best fit mm -hmm. in Ottawa it's oh. Valentine's Day. I'm just talking about Exactly. It's not be practical. Like. Oh. There's a lot of great couples you've seen. They're like, I never can seem to get. Whoever thought Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez would get back together, okay? Doobie's being a romantic. Next up, Eric Carlson. You see him going somewhere else in Canada, Hartsy. Where's that? Uh, Edmonton Oilers. Mm. Uh, how, how great would this fit be uh, with all the high end offensive power to bring in an unbelievable defenseman that makes the passes out of the zone? He can go at uh, 100 feet, uh, 150 feet, sauce pass right on the tape of a, a screaming McDavid uh, uh, on a breakaway. And uh, just the, the power play, I think it'd be a, a bit of an upgrade from Tyson Berry. I'm not sure how you're going to work the dollars. Uh, Elliot talked about that as well. You might have to find another dance part, uh, partner, another team to take half. And half and and uh, maybe it does work out but uh, that would be a pretty unreal fit the way he's playing right now the Oilers have a, a really really good chance of, of of winning the Western Conference I believe uh, uh, and this would be a, a huge piece to add and you're being a romantic because you're picturing these stretch passes Carlson and McDavid oh, I'm right? dreaming about it right now and no <laughs> no offense to Barry but like Carlson's got a bomb I don't like many people Think, like everybody thinks about his passing and, and all this great. He's got a missile on him. Accurate. I think that accurate. <laughs> yes. I mean, he'll he'll wind up and never never peek down at the puck and put it right where he wants it. So, um, you know, I think that would be a huge asset to that power play, not just his ability to move the puck, but he can hit it too. The three on three, McDavid, Drysaddle, and Carlson would just give opposing defenders angina. One more, Patrick Kane. There was some thought perhaps he's going on Broadway. Nope, they get their guy in Tarasenko. A lot of the, four teams are now being thrown out there. Vegas is one of them, but you like the Dallas Stars, deep in the heart of Texas. Patty Kane. Yeah, the, the Patrick Kane. As we know, he's a magician with that puck, right? He can dangle, he can dish. Uh, they got a lot of high-end scores on that team, and uh, you know whether that's on the first line with Robertson uh, and Hints, uh, you know, dangle out there with him. That, that's a scary thought right there. They're not even scary. That's a lovely thought. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the exactly. Uh, you know, and on that power play, it would, it would upgrade there. And you know, uh, you know, Patrick Kane. I think he knows that. Uh, you know, his days of playing the 21, 22, 23 minutes are, aren't in his future. But he can be a big ad for a deep team like the Dallas Stars and really put them over the hump. Well, and you, this is the guy that you're going to have to convince to move if he's got to want to go there. Why wouldn't you want to go to Dallas? Fantastic city. They got a great hockey team there this year, and, and they're going to be very competitive. So that would be, I'm sure, a spot would be tough to say no to if you wanted to go. And Kane right now, he's on a 58-point pace, which is okay. It's not quite Patty Kane style, but you go to Dallas, you get elevated with that environment. Who knows what could happen? All right, can I get a goalie in here for Doobie? Thatcher Demko, true romance, Kings. I like him going to L.A. I think that L.A. has a fantastic team this year. And it just, you're not, you, no offense to, I mean, Phoenix Copley's been great, and, but they've had their injuries. I just don't think with the with the way that L.A. is playing this year, you want to leave all your playoff hopes kind of up in the air uh, with your goaltending. And, and Thatcher Demko is a phenomenal goalie. Um, you know, it's obviously tough sled in Vancouver for anybody that gets between the pipes this year. But he is a big boy. He can move. He's got all the tools. and. And uh, I think that would be a, a major upgrade in L.A. And, uh, and a good opportunity for him as well. Yeah, yeah. Demko's numbers, you see, go ahead, Hartstein. So far, I've been, uh, I mean, listen, I, I'd be surprised if Vancouver parted ways with them, but you can see lots of potential and promise. Yeah, I, I really like the L.A. Kings. The more I kind of watch them and, and watch the highlights, yeah. they got some they got some heat up front. They got some young guys that if you don't fall on that much, like, you know, who is this Kaliev and, and who is this Vlardy? The, they're, they're scoring a lot of goals. they still got some veteran guys, Kopitar, Dowdy leading the way. If they get Chikrin, who knows if they can add a goalie, but uh, it, it's, it's a fun team to watch. And they, they, it, the West is uh, the Wild West. It's, yeah. You never know what uh, who's going to be there at the end.